So welcome to the first Kermode Uncut blog of 2011. Happy New Year. And as I'm sure you know, the new year kicked off with the very sad news of the passing of Pete Postlethwaite at the age of 64. By the time you watch this blog, you may well have read loads of glowing tributes to Pete Postlethwaite from people who worked with him. Everyone who worked with him seemed to think he was a lovely, really charming man. I interviewed him a couple of times. And he was every bit as affable as everybody said. Steven Spielberg said he was the greatest actor around, although when asked about it, Pete Postlethwaite said, no, what Steven Spielberg said is that I think I'm the greatest actor around. He is also, of course, the man who famously said that he could never have his name in lights because they'd simply run out of light bulbs. I just want to take this opportunity to say two words, brassed off. In all the tributes that are coming into Pete Postlethwaite, it seems to me that brassed off is the title that really cements what it was that was so great about him. It is perhaps one of the great overlooked films of the 1990s. When I was working at Radio 1 with Simon Mayer, we made it our film of the month. We both loved it, perhaps for very, very different reasons. I remember watching the film and thinking, this is what great mainstream populist substantial cinema really ought to be like. If you haven't seen it, shame on you. But the story is essentially about a brass band attached to a colliery which is under threat of closure. And it's about a social resistance, it's about social change, it's about politics, it's about class struggles, but it's all of those things within the, uh, the format of a narrative which is engaging and engrossing and fun and strangely charming at the same time as being really solidly substantial. The film that reminded me of it recently was Made in Dagenham, one of my favourite films of last year, which um, sadly too few people went to see. But Made in Dagenham and Brastoff make a very interesting double bill. They both do something that British cinema is really great about. They take an issue that is social and relevant and contemporary and important, but they present it in a way which kind of harks back to the great music hall traditions. They remind us that we are meant to be entertained in the cinema as well as educated, that you can be both charming and fun at the same time as being really solid and important. At the heart of Brastoff is a really moving performance by Pete Postlethwaite as a man who stands for all that is good, all that is solid, all that is noble about a certain tradition of British politics. Now, I'm assuming that many of you have seen Brastoff and maybe, like me, you treasure the soundtrack album. One of the things I love doing is driving around in the car listening to the Brastoff soundtrack. And believe me, I'm no great fan of brass bands and I say that as perhaps the worst French horn player in the world. If you haven't seen Brastoff, get it on DVD, get it on video, watch it and compare it, if you will, to Made in Dagenham, which I still think is one of the great overlooked movies of last year. It's a real, real shame that Pete Postlethwaite is no longer with us, but Brastoff is a movie that will stay with us for a very long time.